Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be changing the high pressure fuel pump on a 1996 Mercury EFI 175. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to do that. So let's get into it. All right, before we get started, um, in one of my last videos, I changed the low pressure fuel pump, which is here, still having the same issue. So I'm hoping the high pressure fuel pump will be a fix. Um, if not, we'll go into other things. I've already changed the fuel filter um, just recently. I need to change this little one here, which I have ordered, hasn't been in yet. Change that just to make sure the whole system's fairly clear. Um, and hopefully we can fix this problem. But um, we're gonna jump into this. Uh, already I have released the pressure off of this. There's a little Schrader valve here with a little release similar to a, a tire on a bike or a truck. Uh, just release the pressure there, make sure you're not and that's pressurize before you start taking things apart, hoses off. I'll give you a closer look in here in a second, but this is the fuel pump. This is the high pressure fuel pump, and it's actually down here in this, this canister here. So we gotta, it's not too intimidating. There's only three bolts that hold this on on this model, and they're easy to access. Some models, you actually have to take the cowling off to actually get to them. But here, from what I can tell, three bolts should come off and we'll unhook some hoses and uh, go from there. But that's what the, the pump is, the high pressure fuel pump when you order one. That's what it looks like. And it actually set down on there. Here's the, the fuel pump. Um, basically we got up here, we have it clamped on, so we're not gonna mess with that. Uh, I'm hoping just to unscrew these uh, little hose clamps here, pull this off, disconnect there. Um, obviously have to pull this fuel line off here. This is the oil transfer line, I believe. We got two there, yep. Um, so I have to make sure we get that cleaned up. And then once we get it all off, uh, should be able to unscrew here and then uh, kind of clean the bottom of the tank because there will be fuel in there. Obviously we'll empty it safely into something, but uh, after we do that, we'll clean that little port out uh, and then kind of see what we get in from there. But other than that, like I said, there's not that many. There's the bolt there bolt down here and then one right through there i believe is all i can see we should be able to come off all right guys we got the, the whole case off um, disconnected all the hoses uh, and i think i got it pretty well where i can put it back together um, you can uh, actually leave some of them attached and disconnect all this, but because of the this being having gas in it and everything, I wanted to disconnect mine completely so I can take it over here to the desk and kind of dump the gas into a tray here and uh, put it back together there. All right, so we got all nine screws removed. Now we're going to hopefully separate the top. Keeping the fuel in our pan. Okay, so there's our uh, fuel pump there. Let's see the gas that we need to get rid of. Um, be able to see a little bit better in the bottom to see if there's any uh, buildup, but I'm gonna dump this into a separate jar to kind of give a get a better look at it. You really can't see with that glare. There's a little bit of uh, dirt and debris floating around in it. Um, the color is just because of the fuel additive I've I added. And then down in here, um, you can see down in the bottom there, there's a little bit of dirt. We'll clean out. Um, also down we're gonna take that screw out and clean out this little, uh, kind of bleed it out, clean out the bottom a little better. But overall, not not too bad. Okay, so we're gonna take the pump out, and this kind of should just go like, like that. Set that to the side. We got all the adapters here with our new kit, so with our new pump will be able to kind of match this up so it fits right. Okay, again, just using this as a reference, we're gonna just pretty much match it up. 
So we got these parts, they're different. These are different sizes. Um, smaller one obviously here, bigger one here. You're gonna tighten those on there, but just definitely don't over tighten, just snug. I should mention when you're taking this out, um, make sure you make note of your uh, plus and your negative power and your uh, ground plus the positive ter terminal is actually the smallest uh, screw. These are different size terminals here. And then the bigger one is the uh, negative. These little seals matching up just like that. Down, fits in that spot. Then you got this seal that goes over the top. Basically just sits right there. Okay, I had to play with this a little bit. Um, I'm familiar with this filter, so um, yeah, we're gonna figure it out together. So I, I believe I kind of took that apart, and that's how it goes there. So I'm not quite sure how it sticks on there, but that goes like that. I think this should slide. Maybe over this and turn like that into place. Squirt that down in there. Everything else looks pretty clean. cleaned out, I have to get the seal set in there and then drop uh, it all back together. Okay. Okay, we got all the screws back on. I'm gonna go bolt it back to the boat and get everything hooked back up. Okay, got everything back together, zip tied these two pieces, tightened my hose clamps up, got my uh, power connected back up. Um, I will have to connect my battery back. Um, I'll probably pump the bulb down there to get some fuel into the system and then test it out here in the backyard with the earmuffs on. Hopefully all goes well. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them and I'll catch you on the next one.